Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In today's tutorial I will go through the landing procedure in the F5 Tiger II. We will conduct a landing in Visual Flying Rules, or VFR as they call it. This is not really an aircraft for ILS. So, first, just a little bit of theory. On this uh, drawing right here you can see the landing pattern we are going to fly. We are going to fly an upwind leg, then turn crosswind, then downwind, then base and then final approach and then landing. It's pretty straight uh, forward. We are going to land at uh, runway 060 at Sochi Adler, right in front of us here. And we're going to descend down to uh, roughly 1500 feet above the ground. That's uh, 1600 indicated right now. We know that because the airfield altitude right here is uh, 98 feet, as you can see. We're going to uh, land at 155 knots. Why 155, you might ask? Well, let's take a look at uh, this uh, approach speed formula right here. By the way, I've stolen this from, uh, I mean, uh, borrowed it from uh, Chuck's guide. I will leave a link in the description. So what we can see here is that uh, we have the approach uh, speed of 145 plus 5. We have a full gun, a gun ammo, so uh, that's plus 5. And uh, we have a remaining uh, plus, the remaining fuel quantity, minus 1000, and divided by uh, 200. Right now I have uh, uh, 2000 pounds of fuel left, so that's 1000 divided by 200, that's uh, equals to 155. And once we uh, get on our final approach, we are going to uh, keep looking at our AOA indexer table right here. And this indicator right here, the AOA indicator. AOA stands for angle of attack. So you might be wondering what angle of attack is. Well, angle of attack, simply put, is the uh, angle of the aircraft uh, in relation to the direction of travel. So as you can see here, uh, if, you're having, if you're going too slow, we will have a high AOA. And you will see this uh, red V on the, the indexer table. And that indicates you're going too slow. And if it's green, that means it's perfect. We are roughly at uh, an angle of attack of uh, 17 to 18 degrees, which is perfect. And if we see this, then that means we are going slightly fast. And if uh, you don't see the green one and it's only showing this one, you're going way too fast. So let's unpause and uh, let's uh, land this thing. Let's idle and descend to uh, Roughly uh, 1500 above the ground. Let's deploy some uh, speed brakes. Alright, let's level out, retract the speed brakes. And on our upwind, we're going to uh, maintain an airspeed of roughly 250 knots. Oh, we're getting a bit too low here. We're a bit too close on the uh, runway, but that's fine. Let's trim the aircraft. Okay, let's turn for crosswind. That's our uh, low speed warning and we have our landing gear up, so we're going to accelerate a little bit more. Oh, climbing a lot here. It's always uh, a rule of thumb to turn when our wingtip uh, is uh, over the runway threshold, like now. Let's turn for uh, downwind. You're a bit too high. But uh, 
but as we can see that uh, there's quite steep terrain so it so it's fine At this point we're going to uh, decrease our speed to our approach speed, 155 knots, and let's uh, uh, lower our landing gear. Always remember to trim your aircraft. way too low right now when you're uh, when you're flying a demonstration it never turns out perfect that's typical all right let's uh, turn for uh, base and we're still a bit too low It's always good to be a little bit faster than a bit too slow, so uh, this is fine. Just level out. And trim. Always remember to trim. We're a bit too low. And now we're going to try to intercept the airfield, or the runway, I mean. Right, let's turn. We overshot uh, the runway just a little bit, but uh, this is fine. Now we're going to uh, go down to our approach speed and we're going to uh, make our descent at roughly a thousand feet uh, per minute. We're a bit too slow, trim up and I'm just going to pause here real quick. When you are on the final you are going to do something that uh, sounds a bit uh, counterintuitive and that is uh, that you are going to control your altitude with your throttle and uh, your airspeed with your uh, stick. I know that sounds weird, but uh, uh, once you get a hang of it, uh, you just uh, get it. So let's uh, unpause. Right now we're a bit slow, so let's lower our nose a bit. Now pretty good let's we are a bit too high so I'm going to throttle back and raise the nose a bit now it's perfect oh we're going to go in a bit slow let's throttle up a bit we're a bit slow but Okay, now let's deploy our chute by pressing P or pressing this one. Alright, so to uh, cut the chute, we're going to pull it one more time and one more time to put it back in. And we're going to exit uh, the runway right here.
So that is this uh, for uh, this video. I hope it was useful. I know it was not uh, the perfect, uh, perfect landing or the perfect landing circuit, but uh, uh, how it is in theory never really conforms to the reality. But I hope you get the point. So that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.